Welcome. Uh, today we're going to be going over how to cut out acrylic. Uh, we're going to be using Carbide Create um, to generate our G code, and then um, we'll have the machine run the G code off the controller. Wanted to say thank you to everybody for the comments and the compliments on this. I've been doing this now for about two months, and I'm just having a blast. It's fun. It's relaxing. Today, just going to focus mainly on how to get um, some of the basic steps and everything. Not going to go over design. Uh, if you'd like to see uh, how I come up and do some of these de designs, let me know uh, if there's enough people interested. We'll get we'll get a tutorial going on how to get your designs made. Uh, I do use Adobe Illustrator, um, but I'm sure you can again apply that to Inkscape or any other vector-based program. The first step we're going to get into is going to be measurement. We'll go over all the different steps I take before I even get the uh, SVG loaded into Carbide Create. Uh, second step is going to be going over all the tool pathing and speeds, feeds, and bits for Carbide Create. Then we'll get it loaded into We'll go over a little bit of G code and then we'll cut this thing out and get to this uh, display you're seeing right now. Do want to remind everyone this is what works for my machine. Uh, you're going to have to play around a little bit, get dirty. Uh, you'll break some bits. I know I have. Uh, it's all part of the process and just take it nice and easy and you'll find what works for your machine. All right, so let's get into measurements. So the first step, we're gonna measure the thickness of each corner. I've already gone and done that here. I like to write the measurements on the paper covering just to keep everything in check. Now, the thickest point will be where we level the Z. And yes, Z sounds cooler than Z. All right, also I'm working in metrics and so make sure your measurements are set to your preferred uni unit of measurement. Now, we want to find the greatest slope, so in my case, 4.98 millimeters and 4.93 millimeters equals 0 0.05 millimeters. I've had some pieces where it was off by 0.2 millimeters, and my engraver didn't go all the way down far enough. So this is just good to check, make sure you're going to hit even at uh, the greatest difference between the highest and lowest point. All right, so next we want to get uh, the minimum depth for pocket cut and so we figured that by 4.98 minus 3.22 millimeters and 3.22 millimeters is the thickness of my LED base so I need to take off 1.76 millimeters so the acrylic will fit into the opening for the LED light so let's jump into the part you guys have all been waiting for Speed, feeds, and bits. All right, so now jumping into Carbide Create Pro. Um, first, we want to set up the outside dims of our acrylic piece. So I got 180 by 100, uh, thickness 4.98 millimeters. Um, all that should be good. Retract type 4 in millimeters. Okay. I imported this SVG, um, just figured do something real quick and simple. Um, just gonna have two change out on the tools and I'll just set those with G code to go back to home um, once we create the, the G code. All right, so go to tool path here. All right, so I've already gone through and got all of this taken care of. We're going to walk through each uh, of these cuts here. So the first one, detail. I'm going to edit operations. Let me see a bit. All right, so I'm using a 0.1 uh, V bit. Step over. Uh, doesn't really matter on this. We're just tracing the line. Uh, the depth per pass, 0.2 millimeters. Feed rate, 225. When you're dealing with the fine um, find detail lines like that and you're not going very deep and you're really only just doing one pass you can push that up to 250 
but uh, I would say play around anywhere between 200 and 250. Now I do like to slow down the plunge rate. Yes, it takes uh, cutting time a little longer, but uh, I just, I feel it gets gives it time to get in there, get some stuff cleared out before it starts going on its way. All right, and so the max depth we're gonna go is 0.2 millimeters, no offset, and then I like to label each one of my cuts. So this is the detail 0.1 millimeter for the bit. Okay, next we're gonna go to the pocket depth. So this is so the acrylic piece will sit in the LED base. Uh, I'm gonna use a three millimeter end bit on this one. Step over one millimeter, depth per pass 1.5 millimeters. I'm sorry, depth per pass 0 0.15 millimeters. Feed rate 225 again, plunge rate 75 again, RPM still at 9,000. And here we're gonna go a max depth of 1.8 millimeters. And then we're gonna pocket that out. Again, label it depth pocket three millimeter. Okay, and then the final one, the cutout. Here, again, using the three millimeter end bit or end mill, whatever you wanna call it. Um, step over, again, not important because we're just cutting out this line. Depth per pass, one duck. Here, we're gonna go to 0 0.15, feed rate 225, plunge rate 75. Do want to point out on the feed rate again, play around between 200 and 250 millimeters. And then the plunge rate, I like 75. I just think it gives it time to clear some stuff out before it starts moving, cut down on some of the chatter. And uh, the max depth, we're going to go 4.98 millimeters, the biggest thickness of our acrylic piece. Then I want to make sure this is on the outside right, so it goes outside of all my design and then, okay all right next is uh well we can save g code um i guess we could show the simulation and there we go all right looks good just nice simple uh could have done a little bit more but just wanted to keep this simple and just really show off how detailed uh, you can get with this. So, all right. Now, um, when you're saving the detail, you can just come here, disable this, disable this, and that's only gonna save this, de this detail uh, right there. So if we hit the save G code, I've already done all this, so I'm not gonna go through it again, but you just hit save G code, and it'll save your fine detail. Then you can just come here, disable, enable. Again, save your G code, change the name to depth pocket, you can disable, enable, save the G code for your cutout. All right, and next we're gonna jump into the G code and make sure it goes back to the starting point. All right, so now that we're in the G code, we're just going to scroll all the way down and normally it'll end here with the Z4 and then it'll go M05, M02. I just had X, Y, 0, 0 after the Z. Okay. Uh, I've tried the G28, G whatever, all that other G code stuff to get it go back to home and it never worked for me. So I found this way. Yes, it's a little bit slower, but it gets where it needs to be and I don't have to worry about it. So just looking for a quick way to rehome back on zero zero, that's it. Um, if you're not using the tape down method, make sure your Z or your Z you got some clearance there. If you're using clamps or anything, uh, I am using the tape down with super glue method. So just bring it up four, not too high, but good enough to make sure clears everything and then go X zero Y zero to get it back home. One of the things I did forget to say in regards to tabs, if you're using the 
tape and super glue method you don't really need them uh if you are using you know the clamps uh you're going to want to put some tabs on there uh doesn't take many to hold it in place and you can make them pretty small you can make them 0.5 millimeters by 0.5 millimeters and just do three or four should be good um again i've never used the clamps so i don't know you may need some more but with um tape and super glue you don't need any tabs it, it just stays right there in place next up we're gonna get the machine going fire it up and get this thing cut out <laughs> Thank you everyone for watching. I hope uh, this helped uh, gets you started in cutting acrylic. If you have any questions, comments, put it down below. I'll get back to you and I'll see how I can help you out. Again, thank you so much and everyone happy cutting.